Hello there and welcome back to the Aztec who currently is uh, in the process of turning Catholic. We are 58% on our way I guess I should say. And we also lost 4 provinces to Castile during the war but uh, it shouldn't be a problem. 3 of those were course, 1 were not. And what we will be doing I believe now is to continue on that same note. Simply uh, creating more colonies and growing our, uh, our nation I guess. Nothing more than that. We'll also hopefully be able to finish up the westernization this, uh, this session. And other than that, not really much else to say. So uh, we'll see how uh, see how things go. There we go. Aztec is now 100% Catholic, and that puts us in a very good position now that we can start while well, boosting up our stability. Because well, it would, it'll definitely be necessary. 280 points until the next one. And once we are, I believe, let's see here. I believe I can't actually do the. Uh, there was something I could do that would give me minus. Uh, Minus 20% uh, to stability cost, but apparently I had to take it then before turning Catholic, and I probably lost it upon turning Catholic, so, well, that's too bad for me, but uh, not really too much to do about that. As you, um, as, you can s D as you can see, I'm making quite a lot of money right now, so we'll definitely be starting to set up some, uh, some extra colonies, and I think I'll actually go ahead and just set up two extra colonies straight away, because, well, no real point in not doing so with, uh, with the current amount, we'll also lose probably a lot more legitimacy as things go and also plug in this hole because I believe at least some of you might uh, find it annoying because I know for sure that I do so uh, I'll go ahead and send people to uh, to protect the colonies and we'll most likely also as soon as we have diplomatic power at 400 take that last idea which will give me Casus Bella against the Creek, the Shawnee, uh, Incas and also Huron and then I'll probably go straight out and vassalize them for well future use I guess you could say Unfortunately, this colony was destroyed upon, uh, upon creation due to the fact that I didn't have any troops there. So we'll try until, well, it becomes a colony again. And as you can see, I'm currently running four colonies and I'm still making a lot of money for some reason. I honestly do not know why, but, well, I'm still making money, so why should I complain? And as you can see, I also got an increase to global settler due to the fact that, uh, well, I did have some luck. Damn, we must help. I guess we'll help. Although I wouldn't, I would really like to get our last thing, but uh, well, everything can't go as as you want, I guess. So for now, we'll be, uh, as I said, continuing colonial growth mostly in North America, and we'll probably also fill in this area, get the Incas as vassals. And I have no idea if I'll actually want to try and colonize this area. We probably will do, but for the time being, I'll just focus on North America and taking as much land in the, in the north as possible. So uh, we'll see how things go. Last exploration idea has been taken, which gives obviously these income plus 10%. Doesn't actually help me right now. But it will at least give me, as you can see, Colonial Conquest on Creek, Colonial Inca Oil, actually. Which is kind of an interesting, uh, well, side note. Because if I want to, then that means that I can potentially uh, try and get military access from Castile. Or I'll probably not. I'll simply have to land troops here, then vassalize the oil, and then basically eat Mali with them. That could potentially be something to do. And that... I basically have the troops ready for that, but I still don't really think that I'm completely uh, completely set to do something like that. So for the time being, I think actually, seeing how things are going, that I can run five colonies without too much fuss. Why am I only getting two a year? Ah, I set down colonial maintenance. Then it suddenly makes sense. My apologies. Um, well, now I'm not making that much money, but still. Uh, my colonies will at least grow now. I should have realized it a long time ago. But uh, as I said, at least now I can get some growth going. And we'll be... Well, I should have done this also quite a long time ago. My bad once again. It's only two months though, or three, so it's not that much of a problem. I have to kill off the reactionaries because, well, not a fan of them. And also the fact that I'll be losing progress if they siege too much. So I definitely have to, have to get rid of them ASAP. And with that, I'll just continue doing this, and hopefully we'll be able to be uh, westernized within uh, before too long, probably within a decade if I don't get a lot of a uh, lot of bad ideas. Plus eight, Castile, save the Aztec people, integrate Turks Island. We'll take that one, create a core there. That's for me. Or we'll take this one. Tolerance of heretics is not something I want in uh, at all. So uh, getting rid of that should help out quite a lot. And for now, as I said. I'll just be aiming to boost my stability and keeping uh, and keeping these reactionaries in place. And once we have westernized, I'll get back to 
As you can see, westernization is rapidly nearing its end. We are at 84%. And that means that it's uh, just now what eight months left, and then we are then we're done here. We'll, I guess, we'll invest in the naval force. Uh, it should help me a little bit, so that's kind of fine. We'll also take the uh, diploma diplomacy points because, well, I'm very far behind Europe in tech, and I kind of have to catch up with them before I can start causing uh, causing trouble in Europe itself. But it will probably take 50 years or so. Probably around 1650, we can start attacking Europe itself. Hopefully, uh, any uh, well, how should I put this? Any later than that will definitely be causing ourselves some issues. So we'll have to we'll have to focus on that. But as I said, we're almost done here. 94. It's uh, it's just two more months, and then we are done. Uh, we're basically westernized then. And as you can see, my armies kind of need it because losing two reactionaries that easily is kind of a uh, how should I put it? It's kind of embarrassing, but let's see here. We have completed our westernization. We are fully westernized. Yay! We uh, managed it. I believe it's my new record, 1575. Not too shabby. And nothing uh, particular here I can take. The Asic Reactionaries wants me to lose 25 prestige. Well, I can accept those demands because, well, I only lost 7. And as you can see, a diplomatic tech advanced to 3. A level 3, that is. Trade efficiency increased by 10%. Naval morale increased by 0.1. Naval maintenance increased by 10%. I can now build early carracks. All in all, very good things. I also got new units, as you can see. And this kind of screws me over because if I had any rebels right now, I would have been screwed. Uh, or to be honest, the units would have been uh, more or less destroyed. But at least now I can. I thought I could at least, but uh, I was sorely mistaken. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll start creating some uh, some horses to add to my armies. And I'll definitely create a little bit. This will be my attacking army, and I'll definitely attack Shawnee, Huron, and uh, and the Incas ASAP now. And apparently I have forgotten to send my merchants to wherever I could. Apparently I am getting some... Let's see, we'll send you... Uh, we'll send to collect, I guess, in both of these. So that should help a little bit. But yeah, as I said, for now I will be uh, creating colonies, building them. And other than that, not really that much uh, That much else will be done. I'll also be doing a lot of teching up, hopefully. So, uh, as I said, except for the... Other than that, I'll just be building colonies. I'll be trying to expand my power base, catch up with uh, Europe and tech. And then we will most likely uh, try and move ourselves over to Europe itself. Uh, declare some wars, fight some wars. The French actually have inherited Pomerania, it seems like, which is kind of hilarious. And they also have Galera. Scotland has apparently... I should say, uh, Awoken from the Ashes. They are allied with Sweden and Castile. Could always have gone for a rough uh, vassalization there. Once again, I am kind of tempted to go uh, send an army to Europe, vassalize or you attack Mali and simply absorb Mali through Oyo. But uh, yeah, kind of, kind of a risky maneuver. But for now, I'll be focusing, as I said, on getting tech up so that I can fight Castile and uh, gain a home field advantage, as it were. I thought that I was fully westernized, but apparently the reactionary still doesn't like it. So I'll have to deal with them. And the easiest way to do that is... What the hell? Uh, I'm confused. What is happening? I thought that I was fully westernized. I have western units. I have western... Tech. Can I westernize into westernizing? Is or is that a bug by accepting the? Uh, that might actually be a bug. Now that I think about it, it might actually. Uh, you know that I was foolish enough to accept the uh, the demands of someone. We do not speak highly of or demands of the rebels for just a hit to uh, to my. How should I put this? I got a hit to my uh, hit to my uh, prestige, but it didn't say anything about westernization restarting. And as far as I know. Or the last time I was nice, I only had to do it once, not twice, which also is kind of confusing. So I might have to do a little bit of checking here. But as you can see, I am basically westernizing now once again. So I guess the first one was uh, not working as Nintendo or something, I have no idea. But for now, I'll be placing this army in Mobile, and then we will most likely attack Shawnee pretty uh, pretty soon. So uh, I'll simply have to wait to see what the hell is going on with the westernization issues, and we'll see what uh, what happens. I have another surprise to you here. As you see, the electors have elected Maria Theresia, a woman. 
as the new emperor. And as far as I know, they are not eligible. And here's the reason why they have actually elected her. Uh, it's due to the Regency Council, basically. And, well, that in its own right is kind of hilarious. The fact that the Regency Council actually means that the Regency Council can inherit the Emperorship as long as, even if the heir uh, is a woman. And if it's a man, then I apologize, but the name strongly implies it's it's a woman. So, I have no idea what's going on. We'll simply have to wait and see, but it's it's kind of hilarious, I'll, uh, I'll, submit, I'll admit. And apparently I do not get the colonization cast of on still, but they did get it on me. And they actually want to be friends with me, which is kind of hilarious. English, do you? Do the English want to be friends with me? me like, with me. Because still being friends with me could potentially allow me to uh, to get myself into Europe. Now that I think about it. So it's not all bad. If I get friendly with Castile and then attack Portugal. Or they're allied with each other. Portugal is actually allied with France, Aragon and Castile. So they're basically sat here. They do protect themselves pretty well. Going after Scotland though could potentially be a... I have no idea how the alliance blocks actually exist in Europe, Russia, Lithuania. So England is here, but they're allied with these two. And I kind of doesn't get how this actually works, but we'll have to see if I can actually... The best thing here would actually be if I could get friendly with, uh, with not, not Portugal, but with the French. Because if I can, well, get friendly with the French, then I will have a big ally that I can use to eat at least Castile and Portugal, or the parts of them that I want to eat. And that will definitely be uh, that will definitely be helpful. But other than that, I'm a little bit unsure what is actually going on here. I'll ignore your demands, which means that I'll have to send my merchants back on duty pretty soon. So you can go back and collect, and you can go back and collect. So gain some calls to integrate Turks Island. Mission complete. I can either repair relations with the Incas or fortify Mobile. I guess we'll fortify it. And we'll send our diplomat to improve our relations with France, and hopefully we can get a uh, an alliance further down the line. Especially once I get myself to Europe, uh, Alain Castile now is potentially a good thing to do. I could potentially use that to eat England and to some extent probably Portugal by declaring war on England, dragging in Castile, and then declaring war on Portugal, dragging in Castile. But I still do not have the tech levels necessary. So actually. When you think about things that way, Alain Castile now is definitely my best play here, until I I, I, I... I have to admit, it took actually a little while before it actually, or I realized it, that Alain Castile here will give me... Um, actually, put it, it'll give me protection for the time being, and thus it's definitely a, a better play than to... Well, go... All... Uh, how should I put this? Uh, kamikaze and start causing trouble for myself. So for now, still continue with the colonies and all that but uh, yeah I definitely want to uh, to uh, try and ally Castile here so I'll send alliance offer ASAP as you can see here they do have uh, they will most likely have sex, uh, accept accept they do have a bad king so hopefully I can also get the royal marriage and if I were to get them in a union I'd laugh all the way to uh, well I laugh for a long time that's uh, that's all you need to know uh, like a madman. But for now, we'll go ahead and, as I said, we'll simply continue or, or focus on colonizing North America, I think. So, uh, I'll just get to that and stop bugging you. Administrative Tech 5 has been reached, which is uh, quite good. And once again, my uh, my guys here are stubborn and doesn't want to do as I want. Which is kind of annoying, but uh, not much I can do about that. I'm kind of also tempted to set up a fifth colony, but that will bring me into deficit numbers. So I'm basically just going to instead save up money so I can build the unique buildings when I actually get them. And as you can see, I still have those annoying issues with the uh, with the westernization not being complete. And the second completion will be pretty damn soon. And it will be interesting to see what uh, what happens then, if anything happens. Uh, I would think something would happen, but uh, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll sit and see how. It should be just around the corner, yes. Two more months, and we have westernized twice. Which I find to be hilarious. Uh, I have no idea if I actually get some tech boost or something. I didn't get anything. I didn't even get... Yeah, we have completed our westernization, fully westernized, again. I fully westernized twice. Well, something is wrong, I don't know what, but apparently my inflation has um, skyrocketed. So I need to fix that, and I'm, 
yeah, apparently I got the uh, the good units here twice now. And it's the exactly the same that I had before. They simply lost all their morale. So, yeah, that's a hilarious bug. And I guess I'll... Well, it's not probably not a bug. It's probably due to the fact that, uh, that I agreed to those Rebels' turns. But even so, it's minus 10. It's not start over. So, well, I guess I can live with that. But for the time being, once again, I guess we, uh, we're out of time here. Kind of annoying side note here, Castil the Castilians have turned these provinces Castilian, and that pisses me off. So, for the time being, we'll be once, or, yeah, I, I know I repeat myself, but all I can do right now is boost my military attack, all kinds of attack, and basically put myself in a position where I can start getting gains and start attacking Castile, England, and everyone here. It'll take a while before I am at such a position, but uh, at least now we're doing better. Funny thing is, Castile broke their alliance with me, even though we are cordial. They're currently at war with Switzerland. And that is kind of interesting at all. I war with Austria, Britain, Sweden, Norway, Castile, Naples, and Mantua. So yeah, I definitely said this is a case of, uh, of cascading alliances. But uh, this is unfortunately the end of this episode. We have, well, completed our westernization twice now. So that should be fine. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, phrase criticism, anything you feel like. And I'll see you around next time. Bye.